Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Service Now HRST series. We are at video number 7 and today we will discuss HR criteria. We have published 6 videos till now and you have to watch all these 6 videos in order to get maximum from this series. So just watch it and subscribe to the channel. So now let's move to the instance. I am logged in as a test admin. No, I am not impersonating this person. I am just logged in as this person that is test admin. And this is HR administrator. So you have to log in in order to see each and everything perfectly. Why, how and all we already discussed these questions in past videos. So go and watch it. So now let's go to HR criteria. Under HR administration we have criteria. Click on it. So at the very first view, what you can observe from this, you see these are non-US users, all users, Canadian users employ with this parent. So at the very first instance, all these are looking like a group, group of people which are having same conditions, like this Canadian user. It means it has all the users who belongs from Canada. Like this employee only, it means it is having all the employee list. Like this new hire, it is having all the new hire users okay so we can conclude that hr criteria are kind of groups which are used by hr department to send a particular communication so why we have segregated these users it is because when the hr want to send certain kind of communication or when the hr want to share some kind of services with a particular type of people type of employee then they use these hr criteria these hr criteria will be very very useful because HR want to show certain things to only certain people. They don't want any unauthorized person to see a particular service, to see a particular form which is not authorized to them. So that's why they have to create these criteria. Okay. So let me open this Canadian user. It is already opened here. You see this is the name. This is the description. And here we have the conditions. Like we have HR criteria for HR department, we also have user criteria. These user criteria may be same as HR criteria or may contain HR criteria. So these user criteria are used at ServiceNow platform level. Let's say on a platform level we want to do certain kind of segregations then we use this but HR department is using HR criteria. So in future we will see various applications where we use HR criteria. So here at the bottom you see conditions. So all active users so these conditions are nothing but condition builders. You can select the appropriate table here and provide the condition then based on that condition the users or the list of the facilities will get shortlisted or filtered. Okay. If you want to create a new condition you have this option new. If you want to create a new HR criteria you can come to HR criteria and click on new. Provide something here. Test HR criteria just save it. So here at the related link you see you have the option to create a user criteria as well. So you can create a user criteria. So as I mentioned earlier it may be the same or if you want to use the same HR criteria list as a user criteria you can relate these two things and may use it at platform level as well. So click on this and click on any condition. So this is how we create HR criteria. So I hope you understand the meaning and concept of HR criteria. In future we will see much more uh, you know things much more application of this HR criteria for the time being just understand the concept I hope you like it watch all the videos and subscribe to the channel thank you so much bye bye